try to do a couple mad TVs real quick. This is odd because this is nowhere near the time I normally do them. But yeah, I'm gonna try to do a couple. We're gonna see. I don't know. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just get off the camera and that's it. Who knows? Alright, bye. But no, give me a second. Alright, I don't know if this one's gonna be funny, but it looks like Frankie Muniz, which is some kid who was popular back in the day or some shit. I don't know. Y'all should know him. I think he's from Malcolm in the Middle, pretty sure. Um, which I didn't even know him from that. I met him. <clears throat> I didn't meet him, but I've seen him on Big Fat Liar. I think it's where I first seen him. Anyways, whatever. Frankie Muniz, Dr. Guiley, Mad TV. Let's go. I don't even know if this is gonna be funny or worth it, but we'll find out together, I guess, right? came out back in the day because he came out when I was really young um this kid was like hot shit okay this kid never would never ever in his life ever motherfucking have problems with getting a girl okay because all kinds of little girls out there thought he was the cutest thing ever because of how blue his eyes because he does have really pretty eyes from how blue his eyes are and shit and he just looks like one of those sweet kind of kids you know what I mean Anyways, fucking there's so many girls crushing on him back in the day. Like, it's ridiculous. So, like, don't ever believe television, okay? Because he did not have any problems getting any girlfriends. I promise you. But yeah, sorry. I gotta fix my eyebrows as I'm doing this, so ignore me. Feathers, that's probably why he bit you. I didn't <laughs> take a bird to the prom. I'm not that big of a loser. Sure? My mom bought it for me to make me feel better. But it didn't because it bit me and now I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, Tad, you know, you're not gonna die. Flesh is gonna turn into a scab and start eating itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's so me as a doctor. Holy <laughs> shit. That is so fucking funny. Bird flu because it's only contracted by chickens, ducks, and the mooshu pork at Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of doctor, he's just trying to get you to laugh a little and relax so you don't think about this. God damn. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a cute little bruise. I love her. Oh, look, it looks like you tried to give yourself a hickey. Have you ever done that? Practiced on your arm? I got so good at hickeys, I was able to spell my name in hickeys. What <laughs> the fuck? You want me to spell Ted in hickeys? What no, the no, fuck? No, and it's not a hickey. It's a bird bite. What are you going to do about it? That is a Ted, child, relax. Miss Kylie. You're in good hands. I'm going to take care of this. I'm gonna cut it off. Cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch is nice. This is so silly. I got this for my, my fat patients. <laughs> it says, cut out the carbs, fatty. <laughs> She's so fucking funny. It's really mean. But it works. <laughs> Doctor, I know, seriously, Ted. There are only three bird to human diseases cryptospidoriosis, macrobacteriosis, mm -hmm. and parrot fever. Parrot fever? I used to have parrot. Oh my gosh, yes, it was a Kurt Russell movie. Oh, wouldn't that be sad if you died from a Kurt Russell movie? A little bit. Not really. Anyways, Ted, you're gonna have to get your wings superficial, but I'm gonna give you a tetanus shot just as a precaution, so jump behind the little bench here and drop trap. Jeez, drop trap. You're gonna do a tetanus on your ass? That's too hard. Ted, it's okay. I'm not going to look. <laughs> I hate this bitch so much. Why is she so mean? I don't scream yet. I didn't even poke you. Okay. Now I get it. Just poke you. That's it. You didn't even see it coming. Neither did I. Why am 
destroy this bitch, literally. And now, a little powder between the cheeks. Because there's nothing like a little talcum in the middle. Ha ha ha, get egg Malcolm in the middle, ha. Huh? There's gotta be something wrong with me. You face. Well, medically speaking, there is. You are a worry wart. Worry and wart. girls just don't it. go for that. Girls? They don't even talk to me. This guy well, never they will now. I have the perfect prescription. Wendy, bring in Ambien. Ambien? What? I don't have any trouble sleeping. You will now. Oh, it's a doggy. Pause real quick. I'm gonna interrupt this because Ambien. Ah, the memories those drugs bring back. Hearing that. Wait. Memories bringing up that drug brings back. Not my memories. Uh, my dad used it one time. <laughs> okay. 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 Maybe I shouldn't say this. Do I really give a fuck? Not really. He's gonna die at some point, probably within the next couple of years, so it really don't matter in a way. Anyways, we were going through a rough time in my lifetime, um, and my dad was just going through it, alright? So... He normally used to get Xanax, but I want to say either he ran out because my siblings stole all of it and or he just ran out, maybe because he took too many. Who the fuck knows, okay? He was crazy. Point is, it, you you got to be careful with Ambien. Granted, he's done this with Xanax a few times, too. Like, just take one after the other, not paying attention, and he fucking, you know, falls out, basically. But this Ambien, I tell you, he said he got up and he couldn't sleep, so he just took one, right? And then he got up a few minutes later and still couldn't sleep, so he just took another one. And he kept doing that, apparently, at least eight or nine times, I want to say. Next thing I know, we're calling a fucking, uh, we're calling an ambulance because he's done fell out of the floor and shit. And he's not waking up because he took too many of them because he's crazy. No, he's not crazy. We're going through a lot of shit this time, okay, guys? Don't judge. Uh, or do judge. I don't give a fuck. I know my fucking cooler than all, I know my family's cooler than all y'all, so it don't matter. Anyways, point is, is he, anyways, he ended up having to go to a mental hospital and shit because they thought he was trying to OD on purpose. It was so funny. I mean, it wasn't funny, but it was pretty fucking funny because it was just so funny. I didn't expect him. I didn't expect him to keep taking it like that. What an idiot. Fuck me. I guess he didn't think, no, they're just not strong enough. I don't know. Anyway, sorry, continue. I'm such a stupid bitch. I'm sorry. That's a really dumb, long story, but it's my life, okay? That's how it was. It's great. I've always wanted Ambien. I actually Just never took it either Ambien. back when I was that young. I kind of wish I would have. for sure. It's a really good sleep. I He's bet you would. Dog. We found him behind the building eating medical waste. <laughs> <laughs> he was eating someone's spleen. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> well, I love her. Make girls like better than a guy with a cute dog. True. Except a guy who has a lot of money, who's in a band, who has a pierced tongue. But anyway. I guess. What do you say, Ted? Doggies are cute. Well, uh, I've always wanted a dog. Yay! <laughs> there you go. Women do love puppies. Yay! Always get a puppy, a cute puppy. Uh, Dr. You have Charlie, women dying over you. I know we Literally. just met. I know I'm a lot younger than you, but Aww. you're really cute. Uh, what do you say we go get lunch? Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> Let me think about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever want to give cute girls looking at you or paying attention to you, literally all you have to do is find the cutest puppy you can find, and oh my god, every woman will be on you like fucking white on rice. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, it is insane just how much fucking little cute puppies will get you attention from women, okay? It is insane. And or a cute kitten. Cute kitten works too, actually. You get a very cute little tiny kitten. Oh my god. Literally any girl, whether they're fat, ugly, beautiful, fucking the hottest girl you can imagine, they will stop to look at that puppy and pet it and or kitten. To look at that puppy and or kitten to pet it and to love on it. I promise you. For real though. Alright, I'll catch you later. Bye. <laughs>